So in this film story, we are shown three ghosts. One is the ghost of the past, who used to scare people by showing their past. That what mistakes did they make in their past, in their past life. The second ghost is of the present, which used to scare people by showing their present. That what mistakes are they making in their time. And the third ghost is of the future, which shows what mistakes a person is going to make in the coming time. These three ghosts once used to be humans as well, but after their death, these three became ghosts. Their job was to correct the mistakes of all the bad people on Christmas Day and scare them. The story begins. We are shown a girl alone in a graveyard. The ghost of the future comes there and shows the girl her grave. Seeing this, the girl gets very scared. She says, I will not scream at people now. I will not scold the children either. Meanwhile, the ghosts of the present and past also come there. That girl had changed now, so she is given one more chance to correct her life. The next day, we are shown the same girl who was in the graveyard. Today was Christmas Day. Many children were playing outside her house. She does not say anything after seeing the children. Neither does she scream, nor does she get angry at them. It means that the girl had completely changed now, and she starts playing with the children. That's when suddenly everything freezes there and stops. The three ghosts came there with their team. They were surprised to see the girl who had completely changed. Here we come to know that. These ghosts had to turn an evil person into a good person every Christmas day. One day a girl comes to the office of the ghosts, who tells the ghosts of the present that you should leave this work, and you should go back to the earth and start your life again. The ghost of the present was also ready for this. Meanwhile, their boss comes there, who says, All right, you can go to the earth, but first you have to do my work. After which the three ghosts go to a hotel. No one was able to see them there. And the manager of the hotel was talking very rudely to the whole staff. But then a man passes there, whose name was Clint. He also had his own media company. The ghost of the present sees that Clint was talking to a man on the phone in a lot of anger. He follows him. He came to a party while talking. There were also very big businessmen. There the ghost of the present gets all the information of Clint. He knows about him. From this, he comes to know that Clint is a very rich man, but he has cheated people. He has destroyed small businesses of people and earned money in it. He comes to know that Clint also had a sister, who had died five years ago. He also had a younger daughter of his sister. Clint was responsible to take care of her, but he gave this work to his younger brother. After knowing all this, the ghost of the present decides that he will change the life of Clint. After knowing all this, he tells his boss. The boss shows him the file of Clint, on which it was written unredeemable. It means that he cannot be changed. The pot of his sins had been filled. The ghost of the present says no, I will change him. His team keeps an eye on Clint for a whole year. And finally, the month of December comes again. His sister's daughter comes to meet in Clint's office. The daughter of his sister says that I want to enroll in my school elections. This is for becoming the president of the school. But there is also a boy with me who is very famous. Everyone will vote for him, but I have to defeat him at any cost. Clint listens to her and says, that boy must have done something wrong in his life. We will reveal his same mistake. After this, the assistant who used to work with Clint, she gets the video of that boy, in which he made negative remarks about the homeless, and she was going to show this video in the school, so that Clint's sister's daughter wins the election. The assistant who gave the video was feeling bad that she did not do well with that boy by giving the video. Then the ghost of the present comes in front of her, says yes, you did not do well, but the ghost of the present was surprised that she was able to see him. But here the assistant was only able to see the ghost of the present. She could not see the ghost of the past and future. The assistant asks who are you, on which he tells that I am the ghost of the present. I show people their mistakes, and I'm here to correct Clint. When she hears that he has come to correct Clint, then she starts laughing and says that this is impossible. When Clint was at his house, a ghost comes there and says, Today you are going to face the ghosts of the present, past and future. They will show you your mistakes. But he felt that this was only his bad dream. Then the ghost of the past comes there and says, I have come to take you in your past to show your old mistakes. But Clint likes that ghost. After which the ghost of the past sends Clint to the ghost of the present and says, I took him to the past but couldn't correct him. Now the ghost of the present takes him to the childhood of Clint, says that I am a ghost. I want to change you by showing your present and past. But Clint felt everything like a dream. After a while, 
Clint sees his childhood, his mother, and his siblings. He sees that his mother lied to him on his birthday. She said that she had brought a dog as a gift for him, but he ran away somewhere. With this, the younger Clint gets angry and goes out. The elder Clint was also watching all this. He says to the ghost of the present that I remember all this. After this, I became a bad person. He now takes him to a party, where he shows him the future life of Clint, where Clint had grown up now. He also liked a girl. One day, his sister tells him that she is going to be a mother. After which the ghost of the present shows him another incident from his past life, when he was talking to his boss in the meeting. That is, all the wrongdoings that Clint had done in his life, the ghost of the present was showing them all. 